here again from AllAboutStencils.com and DesignsFromPenny.com. Today we're going to be working on a festive Christmas project. We're going to use this clear glass vase to make a candle holder. And the stencils we're using are two that I got from AllAboutStencils.com. This candy cane and a nice ornament. The ornament we're going to use in the mask of a stencil. So that's going to make it a little more interesting. Anyway, uh, let's get started. Okay, from my stencil, what I've already done is I have cut out the candy cane stencil because we're going to use that as a regular stencil. So I have one cut out for that. On the other hand, we're going to mask the ornament stencil. What we're going to do is we're going to take several of these and we're going to kind of stick them down all over this glass vase and then we're going to spray paint it. So we'll, when we remove these we're going to have paint everywhere except for where the ornaments were. So we want several of these. I'm not sure how many just yet but I'm going to make several of them. Now in order to do that what I did was I took some clear contact paper and I'm going to go along and I'm going to cut a few of these out and so that we can take that and stick it onto our base. Now, you can use clear contact paper or you can use a printed contact paper. Whatever you're going to find is going to be easier. You just want to make sure that you have a sticky back. Okay? I'll come back when i got those ornaments cut. Okay, we're back again. And I have decided to put nine ornaments onto the vase. I ended up with nine of them and that was pretty good, but that's a lot of them and that was a lot of cutting to do. So. Before I show you any more on that, I wanted to show you a couple of hints that I have for making all that cutting a little bit easier. I took some of the clear contact paper and I cut it in small squares. I put three of them together, taped them down to my cutting board. I put my mask stencil on top of it and traced it. And then I cut that out along the tracing lines, which gave me three of them. So I cut three at one time. Also, I want to give you a little hint. If you're working with a clear contact paper or anything that has a glossy uh, finish on the front and a matte finish on the back, it's always better to trace on your matte paper finish because, of course, your pencil or your ink is not going to stick too good to the glossy finish. Okay, on to the vase. As you see, I have nine of them on this, and I kind of arranged them a little little to the side and in rows that kind of go crosswise a little bit just to give it a little bit of a interesting arrangement. Anyway, I also did for you to see some with the contact paper that has an image to it or a design and I also did some clear ones. We're outside now, we're going to do a spray paint. We always want to spray paint outside where there's good ventilation. Uh, I have some gold and a couple of different brands, it doesn't matter. As long as you can get a good spray on um, coming out of the nozzle, so they think you don't want something that sputters a lot. Anyway, so we'll start to go down and make uh, even sure the glass is all covered. About it. When we get back, we're going to it's going to dry really good. When we get back, we're going to take off our ornament stencils. All right, see you. Hi, back again, and our paint is dry. And as you could see, I've removed mm, most of the ornaments, all except for one. I thought you might want to stick around and see what that looks like. So let's get to it. This is the last one to be removed. I really just started it. Usually at the top here, picked up the edge and carefully. Carefully peeled it back. Make sure all the edges come with it. And um, in some way, I, I don't know if you remember, we used the clear contact paper and we also used a contact paper that had a print to it. And I actually found the one that had the print to it worked a little bit better. I think this is one of them. Yes, this is one of them. It seemed to be a little thicker, so it 
gave a better definition between the paint and the glass. So just keep that in mind if you want to try this project out. Try and get a nice thick contact paper with a print to it. And I think that'll do you pretty good. Okay, and as you see, you just peel it carefully and slowly. And it comes right up. Okay. And there you have it. Okay, now, they've all been removed, the ornaments, and the next step, I'm going to go one more step, we're going to take the candy cane, I'm with the smaller one, I'm going to take the smaller candy cane, and I'm just going to put a couple of candy canes here and there, and we might want to overlap the ornaments just a little bit, give it a little more, a little more pizzazz, you know, a little more artistic to it. Anyway, that's what we'll be doing next, I'm going to get ready. And we're using some nice red paint. We're going to use the regular dabbers. And I have to get my water and everything, so we'll be right back. Here we go. I've got my water. I've got my palette with the red paint. My base. And i got the stencil. And I have nine ornaments on here, so I don't think I'm going to use very many candy canes. I don't want it to be too busy. But So I'm thinking about three. Let's just kind of get started and see what we come up with. I'm going to overlap this ornament and maybe that one a little bit. Okay. So, I got my stencil to where it's nice uh, and it's meeting with the surface of the vase so that hopefully I can keep any paint from getting underneath it and smudging. And I'm going to take the dabber and the paint just a little bit and just start kind of dabbing it on. Up and down movements. You don't want to brush back and forth because that would definitely push paint underneath. Of course you're going on top of the gold paint so it doesn't really want to stick too good either but just keep dabbing on. You might have to do a couple of coats on this too. I think the first coat of paint, and this is just plain acrylic craft paint, uh, you want to make sure to get a thick paint. Anything thin is going to run and smudge and just create a mess. And of course, if it's too thin, you have to do many, many layers. And that's that's not good because it gives you more chance for your stencil to get ruined also. So get a good thick paint. And you may just have to do several coats. Let it dry and do several coats. Okay. Well, you know, it's still a little opaque, but I think that might be nice. Because, of course, we're working on glass, and we light a candle on this. We want the candle to shine through. So now that I'm thinking about it, I think that's going to be a good look. Okay, I'm going to carefully remove our stencil. And look at that. We have a nice candy cane. Now, we're finally done. As you can see, stencils are all off, the candy canes are painted on, and I think it looks pretty good. Of course, we'll never be able to tell until there's a candle lit in it. Of course, that's going to be the defining moment. So, let's wait till it gets dark, and we'll be back.